minor freak out over a dog hair. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for coming back to check out another video. Um, so first things first, it is very rainy and very overcast and flood warnings potentially. So it's so dark. I have the windows open which is doing well, not a lot of good and so have to like turn the ring light on and i had to turn it up in brightness just to make this look semi-decent at least like in the viewfinder it looks semi-decent but if it's like the lighting's a little off or if it like changes throughout the video like i apologize we're doing the best we can but that's not why you're here so what is it? It is update one to the Partners in Cream Project Pan. What are you going to go bark at? Update one to Partners in Cream. I am so happy to be doing this collab project. Everything will be listed in the description box down below. There is a playlist um, and then there's the hashtag Partners in Cream. And of course, this was created by the lovely Dalin and Steph here on YouTube, and I will have their channels listed down below. So let's just get on into this and um, start our update. So if you guys will recall, I think it's, I've seen people put in like three, pro three products and I've seen people put in like four, five, six, like so I think it's three to six is like a safe bet. This is a rolling project pan, so once you hit your goal on something, you roll it out and roll something else in. And I think I've said everything that I need to say. Yes. So we'll just go ahead and get started for reals. Okay, so our first item that we had in here was the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. See, you can see a shadow. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. But anyway, it's the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick and it's in the shade Baked. Now this is just like the little mini. They have like an actual like humongous like full size version. I'm not going to roll it up all the way because again, like the last time I tried to roll it up all the way so that I could mark it on a piece of paper, it got like this weird hole in the center. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But here's what my cream bronzer looks like swatched out on the hand and again this is like obviously a swipe like once you like diffuse it and blend it out it looks very pretty um and i did thank you kaylee invest in a scale and it's not like the ritziest it was just like a little cheap ten dollar scale off of amazon to be honest but it's gonna get the job done right so um i don't think though i think it just goes down like in grams like a whole gram so it won't say like oh your product is you know 18.67 grams like it it'll just say that it's 18 so but we'll we'll live with it so anyway i weighed the bronzer stick and it is 18 grams so that'll be our starting weight because i did not have the scale um at the time of the introduction and i just weighed everything today so 18 grams for that milk makeup bronzing stick uh, the next item that I will show you is my kind of like homemade Super Shock Shadow-esque thing. It was um, a loose pigment from ColourPop and then also a Stila Glitter in Kitten Karma. And so I just put it into like this little uh, pixie blush duo packaging. So this without the lid weighs, oh where is it? Sorry, I'm trying to like read and be blind without glasses. Okay, it weighs 19 grams without the lid. And so here's what it looks like on the inside, if I can like try to get it out of the shadow. So it, I guess technically you could say it has pan on it, but it's a cream product. It's like easy to, you know, move everything around in here. Um, it is starting to feel like a little bit dried out and crumbly. So what I might have to do is end up um, putting some more oil into this. I'm not sure yet. It still performs nicely. This is gorgeous as like a shadow on its own. It's right here next to the bronzer. It's gorgeous on its own as like just a cream shadow, but it also has made like the perfect base for getting other like shimmer shades to really like pop and go off on my eyes. So very happy to have this. I don't think there'll be any problem with using this up. It's just going to take a while because, you know, it's 
a cream shadow. It's going to go out and there's a lot in there. So there is that. And then we have, I pulled in this Tarte Twinkle Stick. Um, it's in the shade Spotlight. I will roll it all the way up for you. But here is what it is looking like. It's trying to track my face and then I'm trying to keep this out of the, the shadow. It's just it's hard going over here. Uh, but anyway, let me swatch this for you. So this is obviously a cream highlighter. And I'm going to build it up quite a bit on my hand so that I make sure you can see it. But it is right here. It's kind of like a more golden, like here's that cream shadow and then here's the highlighter. So it's definitely golden when it's built up. But I absolutely love wearing this. I put this on underneath my foundation and I'll put it like right above, blah, 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 right above my eyebrows and then like right on the high points of the cheeks here and then I'll blend that out and then put foundation on top of it. And I really think you can still like see the glow underneath and it just gorgeous in my opinion gorgeous um so it currently weighs 22 grams with the cap on and then i have on my little nifty sheet of paper here let me rip it out of my notebook so that it's a little bit easier i did like roll it all the way up so that we could mark it that way like tracking it on the paper so <clears throat> and yes there's going to be the shadow from the microphone but if you can see, here's our intro. Um, I think I filmed on, does that say the 10th? I guess that does say the 10th. I guess I filmed the intro on the 10th. I don't know. I, I always leave what day I film listed in the description box. Um, but then here's today, February 6th. So that's a pretty good jump, I think. Here's like the plastic cartridge where I assume like the product ends. I'm sure there'll be stuff in there that I can dig out if I absolutely want to we'll cross that bridge when we get here i don't know i'm not a fan of like digging out everything like it just gets to be a little messy so if i'm really enjoying the product or if i can like multitask it in some way like yeah i'll probably end up digging it out but we'll cross that bridge when we get here uh the next item that i had in was the laneige lip sleeping mask <sighs> there's always like a dog hair on my face um, so here it is in the container and if you'll recall I did not have very much of this left um, and I use this I don't just use this like at night I just use it when I feel like my lips need like that extra of hydration especially this time of year so I'm happy to report it is finished done gone nothing left very happy to have this rolled out of my collection another thing to toss in the empties for the end of the year totals just really good all around good product I really like it I am on a no buy so I won't repurchase it also I have like two little deluxe sizes in my collection so I'm not like out of it technically um, I'm gonna hold off and save those I think for like fall winter like you know 2020 um maybe if I feel like I need it I'll kick one out right now because it is still cold and dry but anyway this besides the point uh yeah so then the last one I will show you before we roll something new in to replace that Laneige lip sleeping mask is my The Balm How About Them Apples blush palette. Now there are six pans in here and I had already used up two pans when I put this in here. So the goal is to finish off the four remaining pans in this palette. Hopefully what I can do because I have found this is not a very satisfying um, item to track like through pictures. Um, so hopefully what I can do is insert a clip from the introduction video of what it looked like when we rolled this in. Okay, and then before I show it to you now, I just want to mention that this whole palette itself weighs 133 grams. But anyway, here's what it's looking like now. So you can definitely see. So these were the two shades that we had already finished up here in the corners. So I have been working on cobbler and candy here. And I think you can tell we have hit side pan in cobbler. This is like a very vibrant red shade and it's like 
too intense for me to wear like on top of my foundation so again thank you Kaylee because she suggested putting it on like underneath foundation that looks so gorgeous it's like that I'm sick and feverish kind of cute look you know um, it just gives like a nice red flush and I really like it it's really appropriate for like the winter time I guess instead of saying I look feverish how about like I look a little wind burnt I don't know I'm it's cute either way so I'm happy to be getting such good use out of that one because I was afraid cobbler would be like such a slow going one and that it would hang on until the very last minute and that I'd have to use it on my lips and I don't really like using these products on my lips. It is a lip and cheek palette like you can use it that way but I just don't like the effect of it on my lips and the they're just feel a little drying and such so anyway. And then the other one that I've been focusing on is Candy. And I think you'll be able to tell that the pan on it has been like widened quite a bit. So really happy about that. I'm just going to continue focusing in on those two and get them used up and moved out before I start in with the middle two shades, which is Pie and Crisp. So hopefully by the end of the year, I can have this whole palette finished off and like moved out of my collection because this accounts for like a huge portion of my cream blushes but I am really enjoying this however I don't think you can get this anymore off of the bombs website I think I saw it on Amazon but I don't know like how trustworthy is that that it's actually this because it's like through a third-party seller I don't know you make your own choices you're an adult but um, yeah, as far as I know, the last time I looked on the Bombs website, could not find this. And that makes me kind of sad because I really am enjoying it. Anyway, what are we going to roll in? So, I am actually going to roll in two things. The first one will just count as like, this will replace the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is like a little mini size of the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I don't know if it'll focus all that well with the shadow, but... I think you can see the name on it so this is in an airless pump um, I think because this has like similar packaging to their foundations and I can like I don't know if you can tell on camera but at least like in person I can tell that it looks like it's the airless pump that's gonna move upward so um, I will mark this with a sharpie after I get done filming I have yet to use this or even try this out I have got this I think around I think this was in my like stocking from Christmas if I recall but um, I've been saving it because I wanted to, um, why was I saving it? I don't know. Lost that train of thought. Shouldn't be saving makeup anyway. You should just use it, right? It's hydrating face primer though. So this is like the perfect time of year to like pull it in because I'm afraid like in the summertime it might be a little too much for my skin. Um, so I'm really excited to like test this out and form some thoughts and see how I feel about it. But yeah, brand new, never been used. I don't think I could have this finished off by the next month. I mean, it's a half ounce of product. So, you know, if a standard full size foundation is one ounce, this is a half ounce. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm excited to roll this in, get some use out of it, finish it off and form an opinion on it. And then I'm going to start having six products in this project. So I was actually watching, oh, I think it was her end of the year empties video it was Dolan's video um Dolan Dallin please just tell us all how to say your name because everyone says it differently um outward processing is her youtube channel but um she is so sweet and so lovely um anyway get back on track her end of the year empties video I'm pretty sure that's what the video was where I was watching her and she said that the her full size um still a glitters never like gave her a problem or anything it's the minis they dry out much more quickly and i heard that and i was unaware of this because i had the full size like kitten karma um steel of glitter and that thing was kicking for like two years before it dried out so i have four of the minis in my collection and now i'm kind of like nervous that they're gonna dry out before i like can get some good use on them so my goal with this is not to use it up completely because I do have four of them, but I want to roll in a, a, a mini Stila uh, glitter and glow. 
and use it 30 times and then roll it out and replace it with another one in my collection. So I do have four in total and I think that by using them 30 times, like no, that's not gonna finish off the product or anything, but at least that way, like they'll have a good bit of use on them. And then if they end up drying out, like I can try to rehydrate them or make them into a cream shadow like I did with this guy, but at least I'll feel good knowing that they got some good love. So the first one we're gonna roll in is called Golden Eye. I think this was from one of their like little Christmas three packs that you can get. And I need to find a place to swatch this. But this just looks very pretty. This is out of all of them that I have. I think Kitten is my favorite. I do have a mini of that. But I've already like used that and know how I like it and how I like to wear it. So I wanted to give the three other like new shades, new to me shades, um, a chance. So that's why I went with this one, Golden Eye. It would be like my second favorite and you can see my awkward swatching it's just this pretty like light gold shade i think this is going to wear so nicely on its own but also underneath my more like yellow shimmery shades that i want to have that sticky base under so really excited to roll this in so again we'll try to use this 30 times and then we'll roll it out and put in a new glitter so other than that everything else that's in this project right now the goal is to use it up and I think that's it. I think that's everything. Um, again, this is a collaborative effort created by Steph and Dolan here on YouTube. Thank you for inviting us all in. There is like, I think, 45 or 50 people. So if you check out that playlist, you are going to be set for like the whole day as far as like binging Project Pan videos go. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If you want to join in, it's never too late. This is a year long project, if not longer. Like, I think, I think I recall Steph saying that they might turn this into like just as long as it can go kind of thing but for right now I think it's just at a year so yeah don't feel like you're you know it's never too late to join you know um yeah the only rule is that it has to be a cream slash liquid product no powders at all so that's it I'm gonna quit rambling and I hope you guys have a good day or a good night or whatever it is wherever you're at and I will see you in the next video bye